Rapa will be able to help with the Sky Smokes clearing out the site very effectively. The Incendiary as well clearing all the corners. And that's going to be the B site completely given up. Triple A will play for the retake here as the spikes will go down. If you notice that actually every Spike single planted. one of them, except one player from the side of Triple A, as well as Myth, bought uh, light armor. Four, nine members, nine players with light armor. Oh, Conga Red though with the kill on his dealer family will start things off. And he's gonna sound the attack. Oh, almost brings out Mushroom as well, but he's able to get a headshot on Tursit as Citix will finish him off. Though, as he's gonna be in a retake situation. Oh, you see, can he get a little bit more? Well, the two players hiding out in metal here, but it looks like Boom Barapa is able to spot two of them out here. And look at this, Jenny is gonna be able to get one, but not anymore. Who won? Yeah, looks like Execute coming here onto A. They're going to be staying away from U-Haul. They don't want to get too close up and personal. But Pooh, one tap, he's going to shut down PTC, trying to go for the aggressive peak there on showers. Looks like Plant is going to be down. There's still going to be that presence all the way in. U-Haul for a tank all around. Congred is going to be hanging out there. CTX is going to be coming in for the backup. But still a little bit on the difficult side as currently there's not a lot of angles that they have available to them. Heaven finally going to yeah. be taken, but <laughs> with a super shorty, I'm not sure what <laughs> that's going to accomplish. <laughs> uh, definitely. This retake is looking less and less likely. Maybe the Rays can get some magic done with the cluster, uh, the pink shells, but looks like it will not be. Couple of members stuck in U-Haul. Uh, looks like they will not even attempt the retake as the time is running out. Maybe to hopefully to try and just get some uh, exit frags. Dealer family does bring down Conga Red as we do have one of them pushing out, gets pulled out, and he will fall in the end. And the exit is sounded. Take the portal, get the hell out of there. Take this round in order to uh, get a better economy going. As we do see PTC diving in aggressively, gets a kill onto his mushroom, gets a second. Boombarapa will be the one to get a second. As he takes yes, a second onto his dealer family as well. But dealer family not before bringing down PTC. So four versus two situation right now. Only Poo one tap as well as a race left standing. This uh, this push is looking less likely. The spike is still in the control on the side of Myth, but with two players left and no flashes to work with. This is going to be really tough. Yeah, they're just going to be looking to try and see can they get the kills. Currently, no rotation coming out here from Congred and uh, uh, Wanna Fly. They're going to be all hanging on that A side, hedging their bets. But the angle's still being held here and really not yielding anything. Eugen from the window side. If they can get at least maybe another one or two kills mm -hmm. here just from those players, and the, uh, even the plant would be considered a bonus at this stage, then they will be in good stead for the full gun round taking place next. Yeah, we might see Myth uh, sounding just the save though, because you don't want to uh, lose out on uh, these guns, and especially not giving the ultimate charges to the side they of AAA, spike. because that's going to give the, the defensive side an advantage. Left. Oh, but looks like they're going to try and go for it. They have 30 seconds to work with. They have a couple of smokes oh, using the last pack to get into position. New Gen will get the spike down, but can the, the paint shells do some damage? Oh, almost connecting there. Forces New Gen to use the secondary blast pack to get into a better position. And here comes the retake from the side of AAA. Oh, Jenny leaving no chance there. Poo one tap is all coming down straight away. And now they're going to try the rotation here from the B side of things. But look at this. The utility just going to start to delay them ever so much here as the cyber cage is coming out from both sides. But now there's not going to be left. a whole lot they can do to stop Five the actual plant. plant. But they're going to be well aware of the rotation. The trip wires here on market side is going to be giving away. And now Poo one tap is getting in position here. He's going to get him. C takes as he's oh. come through. But the Love family going to take down one of and conquer it in quick fashion. I think that was even lateral. Uh, this is definitely a very possible situation for Ginny. Hey, she gets down the operator, so that's a great start, but looks like uh, Myth should be able to recover it without any issues. His mushroom holding in the angle, holding it tight, Ginny not wanting to lose the gun. He does have the rolling thunder, but of course not going to use this as it's going to be Myth taking the lead once again. Three, four, the board, three on the board there from the side of Myth. And it's just now Ginny to try and escape with her bando. Yeah, they're going to bounce back. And, uh, you know, I mean, still rolling with how we expected everything to, to turn where it's at as the smokes will be on point and uh, really give that coverage as, again, three players on the B side not going to be in the right spot. But Congred, he's going to be all the way smoked out here. But now looks like the right taps are going to be good for Poo one tap. He I goes all the way through. He's going to be taking control of U-Haul. But look at the amount of space here that's going to be created by Nugen. He's staving off all the players here coming from spawn and not going to be able to do anything. And he didn't even fire off in the end. Just the threat of it is enough.
Yeah, when you hear the sound cue coming from Showstopper, you definitely do not want to get into any clo close or tight angles. And that was just Myth playing a textbook take. And the retake will not be possible from the side of AAA as they're just so far away from sight. It's going to be a C-Tix as well as PTC as well as Ginny just trying to hold on towards their guns. They will not be in a great economical position in the next round. That's why they are valuing these guns so highly. Yeah, exactly. So I think uh, that's going to be them limping along here. They might be able to afford a buy to a certain extent uh, next round just because they're able to save these three guns. Myth attitude, looking pretty good here. Information, they always have to go for these aggressive peaks. Right now, CTX is there on uh, Arches together with PTC. They usually go for the aggressive peak, but you can tell that their economy is not great because they're not being um, too adventurous in yep. wanting to stick their faces out. Yeah, you, you raise a very good point. The information gathering in turn for the side of AAA is quite poor. Only really the Cypher to get some information with the Cyber Cam, but otherwise they really have to play in a more defensive or in a post plan situation. But Myth, their lineup is too, especially for the post plan situation so AAA really has to get as much rounds left. as they can as Kongore gets a nice first kill on towards the side of uh, AAA and gets a second as well new gen will fall Kongore gets a third this is what they needed for the side yeah. of AAA Kongore to strike hard strike fast gets three hit shots on the side of Myth and that's going to be pretty much the round here set in stone for the side of AAA as Myth they lose three members Ten down very left. early the spike is in uh, the truck area and Myth will have it permanently in the crosshairs. Well, taking control of site <laughs> expertly <laughs> thereafter and preventing the plan. Poo on tapples. Currently, PTC is going to be backing up here towards CT. He might be able to get some good shots there into window. But Boomerapa, he's still got some smokes in the back pocket here as he's going to be able to obstruct vision maybe? No, looks like he's actually going to focus on getting that elbow side shut down. And look at this, the rotation here from PTC is going to be ineffectual. The spike should go down very soon. Bumarapa playing inside steel. The C takes all, tries to go for heal, but it does not happen. Kongare will be the only one to get the kill on towards the uh, teleporter as PTC will try and go for this post plan mushroom. Not going to even try. Kongare tries to bring people up with the sound cue of the Shadow Step. He actually gets one on towards the family, but Bumarapa will be the one to trade it out. PTC has to get at the hell out of there. He does have the operator close range, not going to be very effective. He's going to try his best, does not connect. Oh no. Not going to be. Too much going on except for Poo one tap. He's gonna actually spawn out where he is and he's gonna be obliging in terms of sending him to the lobby. Well, not really to the lobby, but at least spectator cam. And now we're seeing that the Hellfire is gonna be coming down. And look at this. Everyone's gonna get deep fried, or at least one apply is. And now look at the control established here. There's only gonna be Ginny and she's forced to back up all the way here in elbow. Triple A will give up this site and probably this round as well because the other two players from the side of AAA are not even going to rotate in and tr uh, try and help Ginny. Ginny's going to be stuck in a very tough situation and the best she can hope for is actually to just survive with her Vando. Should be able to cross through uh, thanks to the dark cover used by actually from the side of uh, Myth and uh, at least AAA does have two guns going on towards the next round. Yeah, going for some uh, hopeful wall banks here. Not going to be yielding anything and Honestly, the side take very impressive coming out here from mid. Just not going to be stumped one bit as uh, I think, yeah, the game was given up there by CTX. I think, yeah, the, the lack of a Sova here just really being exposed yeah. very, very much so. They weren't able to really scout out how much, uh, how many players were there on that side. But Information coming from the boom bot, knowing that there are some players towards long. So yeah. that's going to most probably sound the rotation coming in from the side of AAA. But will it be in time? Five members will hit this side hard. Asitix pushing forward. Gets one. Oh, do, do not even get one as he's going to get brought down there from the side of Bumarapa. And that's going to be the side opened up quite nicely. Myth, they lose seconds left. Uh, no members as they claim the round most likely once again. We saw the movement coming out from attack all around for a few Spike paces planted. and then they kind of backtrack and uh, onto A side. They know it's not going to be one if that they can here. win and they'd rather save their guns. But again, we're not getting a lot of advance notice here in the form of attack all around. They're really struggling here mm. on the defensive side. And, uh, you know, even the rounds that are close, I mean, honestly, if they have a little bit more information or heads up play, mm -hmm. they can they can definitely uh, you know try and counter myth a bit more effectively. They definitely have the gun skill available. The only problem is is that what they usually rely on with this kind of lineup yeah. is as we were talking earlier is all these aggressive pushes, whether it's yep. Elong and whatnot, uh, because they're always positioning their cipher on A. Mm -hmm. So he's only able to get the intel uh, or advance uh, notice over by maybe Showerside, depending on where he puts his camera and. 
as a result, there's just no time. Again, it, it's been too slow for them to get over there. Now they're actually stacking the three players here, but the take is definitely going to be on A. Dila family, though, getting a bit too overzealous, going to get spun out by PTC. But now this is still giving them the opportunity to move in here. Paranoia is going to be ready from the shower side of things as they are starting to make their push. I think they're waiting for the full retake to come out from that rotation. Left. Oh, new gen able to get a kill on just Conga Red. That's going to be a good start for them as they even things out in terms of numbers. Ginny will have the flashpoint, will try and assist the teammate. Wannafly will be in a good position to trade off and they get down new gen 4 versus 3. The paint shells will do a lot of damage onto Uberapa down to 33 health. Who wants that though? Will even things out once again. Tries to land a shot, but I looks like only exactly two players way. stuck in towards the Uhaw area. Here comes the Nero Tap. PTC gets a wall bang onto Boomerapa. What was that? Mushroom though will keep things close, and Pu One Tap will stop whatever hopes that AAA has for this retake as it's down only to PTC to try and defuse as well as kill two more members left alive. PTC gets one, that's hopeful, but he's not gonna get the second. He's gonna force Pu One Tap to die here at least. As he's just waiting up. We're seeing is probably just PTC just holding a very aggressive angle. Now he doesn't have that ability anymore because he's gonna not have any more charges there. And look at that, Acidix is still gonna be able to catch out New Gen. And you know, I thought it managed to clear quite a bit of the space, but apparently not. Yep, these uh, these pickoffs without trading is what exactly AAA needs. They narrow down the lead for in terms of numbers. Oh, Bumbarapa. Oh, they actually just. Missing each other, Acetix doesn't left. know Boomerapa neither and oh, does he spot a gun barrel? It's actually just poking out. Acetix will be able to get a kill and actually use a blast pad to get away to safety. Uh, pushing out forward is Boomerapa trying to re avenge his teammate but no, he will run into the crosshairs of Acetix as he gets the triple. Tries to get the tap onto his Puan tap but it will be Puan tap getting the tap. That sounds like a tongue twister I can use. Ten seconds left. But a Puan tap will be able to back off with the operator and AAA gets another well needed round. Yeah, so they are stemming the tides here, and uh, I guess better late than never for sure. So, really, Myth can run away with this, but uh, they are going to be moving on to the defensive side later on. But oh, look at Pooh once that creating so much space very quickly. Congra yeah, just not way. able to reset himself, and now looks like Ginny gave herself away. Pooh one tap is going to be well aware, trying the shot. Not going to be able to land there as Ginny is going to be receding back here into uh, the U-Haul side of things. Does have backup in the form of one apply. Hasn't really committed to this defense, but Wannafly able to bring down New Gen. Here comes the Hunter Spree trying to spawn uh, spa him back. And uh, he's not going to connect on towards anyone, so they are going on a chase. Oh, but the Odin from Mushroom gets a kill on those PTC. Wannafly will get the trade as it's down to a 2 versus 3. Triple A will try for this retake. Myth already in towards the site and will get the spike plant on towards the B. Oh, actually not yet. They're just waiting it out. What is uh, What does spike Myth planted. have in store? The spike finally goes down, but they know that there is one jet lurking and Wannafly will get the kill. So that's going to even things out. That's going to help out a lot from the side of AAA for this retake. One, one time maybe could have waited that out a bit longer, but look at the Love family getting an absolute uh, vital shot there. Now to 1v2 with Acidic. going to have to really land the shots, but it's so difficult. This pushing into a potential crossfire is uh, not always going to be a great way to work it out, but he manages to isolate both of the gunfights here. Boom, Rapper goes down, followed by the Love family. And what a clutch coming out here from Acetix. Yeah, just in time, one versus two. Like you said, the crossfire was lethal, but somehow Acetix able to take one at a time and survive with third pistol round. Should go in their favor if they have the correct utility. PTC trying to land some clicks on towards the head of Puan Tat. Does so with only losing a little bit of HP. Oh, the Pink Shouts almost catches him off, but still a good start for the Star Triple A. That's what they need for this comeback to happen. Yeah, I think that they're definitely going to be uh, savoring the prospect of really bringing all of their aggressive utility to bear. Just going to have to be a little bit more blind, of course, because there's not going to be a whole lot of information, but they don't need it in that instance as Mushroom is going to be taken down. As Ctex is on a roll, looking to really carry his team over the finish line. Boomerapa is going to be right next to PTC, not able to go and spot him out just yet. And now the wrong moment here. He's going to be uh, really suffering there as uh, PTC able to surprise him. Yeah, the timing was uh, paramount on the side of AAA. Oh, Myth tries to go. The dark covers to provide some cover uh, from the side of u -Haul. PTC gets a first kill on towards Mushroom. That's huge. They spot out the shoddy and that's going to do a lot of damage. Wanna fly gets a kill on those new gen, but Boomerapa will trade off. Will be able to save out the Bulldog and that's going to be a couple of guns in the hands of Myth. But it's not going to be enough as the spike does go down. It's going to be a 2 versus 4 retake and I don't see AAA losing this round. No, I don't see that either, but uh, we'll see if they are managed to get any more exit kills on this one. Currently, Ginny 
Still gonna have the advantage over the Love Family. He doesn't really have anything to work with except for the Super Shorty. And he's trying to bait him into actually challenging, but I think they know this is probably not going to be a good idea to come and chase them because at the same time, they don't know exactly the position of Boombarapa. He did manage to take the Bulldog and they could actually be waiting for them to pull into a crossfire. Yeah, they think this uh, this uh, this jump is a bait, but in fact, he's actually just playing alone. Oh, Boombarapa is actually a bait coming from behind. Jinny, you do not check your back. The, the, where was the comms? There was just a walk. The family holding on towards Ben. Here comes a flash one. He's going in for the side of PTC. Hopefully able to get some kills. The Boombarapa will give away some information, but from the back side, the side is given is vacated away as the smokes have been proving too much. Dealer Valby somehow gets a kill on those Conga Red though in the side, and and the second on towards PTC. TC as well, pushing on towards Ben. They did not hold that area, and that's gonna be two kills going towards the way of Myth, making this retake even more possible. Yeah, and exactly the pressure coming out here from Elbow is gonna be absolutely detrimental here as Triple A, they're falling apart. Three, four players all gonna go down, but now look at that. Ginny not able to get more than the one, and there are four players here. They could have just slowed down the game, but right now they have to go on an eco, put one tap. Playing aggressively inside showers and he's not alone. Using the oh. OD to force people out. What an exceptional play coming from the side of Myth and they clear out showers. That's gonna give a lot of information, but we do have Conga Red already pushing in towards the u haul area. He might catch One some people off guard, Ginny. Oh, he will catch no one off guard as Boombarapa cleans his head off. And uh, Ginny right here. Her, her position is. He run it back in, in, a one, in a single half. Yep, that's definitely a very viable strategy. Something that we do see more and more teams adapt. You know, very uh, making, p putting a lot of importance on towards the ultimate orb. But new gen will open up on towards a kill on Conga Red using the boom bot just for information as well as just have baited uh, Conga Red to stay in that position and uh, he is able to get that head tap his shot on towards Conga Red. So that leaves AAA in a disadvantage at the moment. Oh, nice move from New Gen, and we didn't see that from Asetix when he was on defense. He just kind of tossed out the boom bots, mm -hmm. uh, especially on B short, just to see if someone was there, but not playing off that to try and get an opening pick, but working well here. And that's going to be really bad here for attack all around oh, because they, they really need Congrid and his uh, dark covers. They've got nothing now. They have to really work off the back of the breach there. But Ginny, she's going to get taken down. Help. And look at that surprise. Going to be detrimental. Who wants up is going to be able to trap a C takes in there. No one is going to be making it out alive in the hookah and B short side. It's only going to be one left. fly left. He's going to save the operator. But they're already on the hunt. Yeah, Triple A with not checking those corners really starting to hurt them and it's gonna be down to one of fly to see if he's able to save this operator. He gets one kill, but Boomba uh, goes and meets the um the current grand finalist. Oh, one of fly though with a nice shot. He is gonna get revenge from the pass round. There goes the neural theft giving information that there is three players from the side of Myth on the A side, and he's gonna push in, wanna fly as well as the rest of the team. The family trying to get some kills through the dark cover. It might get one. He gets one onto his PTC. That was perfect play coming from the side of the Cypher. And that gives him his Nero Tap charge as well. The retake is coming on. Can they spam through the smoke? They are trying to get one on from the side of Puan Tap. When a fly will fall, can this retake happen from the side of Myth? Oh, this post plant defense is going horribly yeah, wrong, but way. they still at least have three oh, people. They can still go their way, but look at Puan Tap getting in the face of Congrid, and now he might be able to get the second one here, but looks like Ginny's going to get taken out from elsewhere. Cetix still is going to be a lot of them waiting here on the A side of things. Three in, oh, actually four in short. Only Cetix is going to be holding things down on the shower. Yeah, Puan Tap gets a kill on towards Ginny. But everyone is stacked here towards A. That is the beauty of the sofa on the defensive side. Gives you so much information. PC tries to get one, gets one on towards Puan Tab. The other jet is down. No more imposters in this game. As here comes the showstopper is used. Mushroom gets a kill on this one of fly. A CTX gets a kill on this new gem, but he dies towards the way of the showstopper as well. CT gets a second of mushroom, leaving this to a two versus two. Very doable, especially when one of the players. No, no, Boombarapa catches the rotating player. A VTC will keep things even as it's down to a one versus one. It's only the cipher left remaining. Dealer family maybe trying to play some 400 IQ plays, some forehead plays, baiting for the rotation, but. PTC. Is he gonna go for the plan or is he gonna fall into the trap set by the La Family? Oh, I think he's mind gaming him mind gaming him so hard. He just doesn't know whether or not he's just gonna be lying in wait left. on the A side. But if he has any cloud burst on him, he might use the lines it. But no, looks like he is gonna go for it. Sticking it now. Looks like it's gonna be a retake scenario, but it's 
basically just going to be this 1v1 versus the Love Family. He might be able to spot him out in heaven currently. He can actually see where the plant is and kind of guess exactly the positioning. Yep. But there's just not a lot that he has left. He doesn't even have any Cypher Cages going to be positioned here. Now PTC just has to watch this one angle. But no, looks like he's going to be able to count yep. it. I think, you know, where the positioning of the plant was, and they can kind of guess. But now look at this. The C takes though, pushing in with the PTC as well. But look, Pulex, Poo, one tap, and Boom Barapa, they're going to deal significant damage. The Cedix is gonna, still going to oh. be able to get it though, but still, looks like Poo wants to have taking a lot of damage from the Boom Bot. Yeah, definitely, and that's going to favor AAA quite a bit, but oh, Congaret with a nice wall back on Twitch. Mushroom gets him down, leaving it to a 3 versus 3 situation. The dealer family is still stuck on Twitch B, and the rotation should be sounded very soon. New gen as well as uh, it's going to be one, Poo one tap trying to hold on towards this side. Pongaret's finally pushing out. They're pushing out together as a group. Fantastic play for one tap. Though. Somehow gets one to fly. Acidics will finish him off though. Yeah, as amazing. that leaves the B side completely open. New Jan with the Kyondos Acidics is down to only Pongaret to try and ace uh, to try and clutch this one versus two. He picks up the spike. He knows that.